All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Pirate Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. So this will be a fairly short video because, uh, if I could have this set up correctly, because this is a knife that I've reviewed before in my version, uh, but this is a little different, so we're going to talk about that, and we have a new SRM knife. So let's do that one first. This is the SRM920, whoops, upside down, 9203 MG-2. Uh, this guy's... Man, I keep putting everything upside down. Uh, this one here is an Axis style lock, the second one of these uh, in a series we've had. I think we had the Rubik in here, and I reviewed that. And now we have this one. Very thin, reminds me of either the Benchmade Tagged Out or um, uh, the Ace Jutland or both. You have a upswept clip point there. Very nice uh, black wash blade little bit of marking on the blade, the model number, and SRM. I don't see a steel marking, which is interesting, but it is 10CR. You do have green uh, micarta. Kevin had one. This comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around group, by the way. That was blue uh, micarta, but unfortunately, Meanie didn't send that one to me. No, I'm just kidding. You got blue accent here, black hardware. You have a crossbar axis style lock. Um, you have uh, partial, no, they might be full. Hold on, I'm going to look off camera for a second. Uh, no, we're going to say they are partial inset liners. They don't quite, man, it's hard to see in there because it's so dark. But you see we have a long backspacer here, um, and that's why kind of it's, it's kind of dark in there and hard to see. Uh, but it does have inset steel liners. Um, and you have, again, this Axis style lock. Um, really sleek, kind of fits down in the handle pretty well. Has a hole. I can thumb flick it really easily. I can not middle finger flick it. I just can't get the, the springs, just like the Rubik. Spring is uh, just in such a way, you know, the spring provides your detent. And it's just, you know, kind of soft uh, in that regard as far as trying to get enough tension uh, to middle finger flick it out. Plus, you can see, um, whoops, on the uh, on the close. You know, you could definitely got to keep that lock depressed, and you got to fling it down. But you know, it's it's good action, and especially, uh, let me see. I, I had it open. Uh, the price on these is seventy dollars. So uh, you know, it's it's not a cheap cheap knife, but it's definitely a budget friendly. It is in ten cr steel. Black stone wash and green, not assisted, of course. Uh, 420 stainless steel liners. Uh, where is my? Are you seriously not going to give me the dimensions here? Uh, the full length is 8.09 inches. The blade length is 3.54, so very nice. The blade thickness is nice and thin with a 0.12. I like that. Uh, you have a flat grind. Uh, pretty high, not all the way up. You got flats here. Um, ambidextrous lock, ambidextrous clip. Now, um, what is, uh, by the way, I think that's a G10 backspacer. It doesn't really tell me. Uh, and it does not also, yeah, it says three ounces on the weight. I'm sorry, but it actually carries lighter. Tip-up thin tip, uh, tip up carry all the way up. Now, guys, uh, I'm telling you, SRM is brilliant with this. Uh, Wow, unless I throw the clip across the room, uh, you <laughs> wow, you've got this clip uh, that basically is reversible in seconds. All you do is clip it in. When you want to take it out, you push it together, push it out, and uh, don't throw it across the room. And bam, clip it in. Now we're back to right hand carry. Uh, I, you know, it does move. I told you this in the Rubik review. It moves around. It's not going anywhere. I don't. I don't care. Once it's in the pocket, it's absolutely fine. Good retention. Good in and out of the pocket. Nice slender carry. Nice clean slender carry. You do have a lanyard loop, by the way. Uh, I I would love to see. Matter of fact, I'd love to see some of these on my knives um, down the road. But this is a phenomenal idea. Um, and I, I just think it's brilliant. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, so 
yeah, and I've said that before, I have. Now, as far as uh, cutting with this one, um, and of course, uh, we can show you that it definitely is a piercer. Um, you know, I'm going to stab myself one of these days doing that, but uh, just a smooth cutter. Uh, 10CR is a, is a decent steel. It's not a great steel. It's one of those that I call kind of a, a low... Uh, low-end steel. It does hold an edge better than, let's say, 8CR or even 9CR, but um, it not not a whole lot better uh, in that regard, and uh, you're going to have to sharpen it a little more, but it is a steel that gets good and sharp and definitely cuts in. The geometry of this one is very nice. You do have a good sharpening choil, definitely locked up solid, no blade play or lock rock. Were we centered here? I didn't really look. Okay, off camera. Yep, we're dead on. You can see they use every bit of real estate there. Very. I mean, I'm impressed with what SRM is doing now. Ergonomically, four fingers, of course, plenty of room. You feel the clip, but it's fine. It's not a big deal to me uh, at all. Um, you do feel it right there at that corner where I always feel it. You do have jimping here. Uh, I wish, you know, if we're going to have it maybe a little bit further, not much, just like two or three more ticks there would have done it. But if either way, it's fine with me. Um, and that is cool. Now, again, uh, I will leave a link to this $69 is, uh, the price on that one. So, uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think about what SRM is doing. The Rubik was really cool, but it was a little chunkier. Uh, this one is really, really, uh, nice. Um, okay, so the next one, let's just tell you what, to give myself a little, and we'll do our comparisons all together. So give myself a little bit more room. Uh, here is the Orion Cetus in that Amboya wood. And there is mine uh, that I already had. Um, oh man, I was trying to call this up so I could give you guys the specs. Um, and I'm having difficulty as usual, but this is the Cetus. Now the Cetus, uh, as you guys know, is a really cool, uh, turned down, if you will, worn cliff blade. Uh, and I like the way this is set up. Um, this one's black on black. You have a black wash blade. These are done um very nicely you do have you know i'm not going to do a full review because you can go back and see my review but you have overlays here and in the case of the one that i purchased i have the g10 overlays uh looks really really come on focus all right hold on guys man sometimes i'm telling you you just want to get on my nerves camera so um black g10 and they are overlays and you can see it turns into sort of uh, with a frame lock here, but it turns into sort of like a bolster lock or an overlock, uh, underlock or whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is that Amboya wood. Uh, let me see if that's uh, exactly how you pronounce it. I always um, get it wrong, uh, but I think that is correct. Amboya is the way it is uh, put here. Now, the, the G10 ones are available. There's a green and a black. The green has a black blade. The black has... Uh, the stone wash blade, and they are available for $55 uh, right now on orionknives.com. I will leave the link. And this Amboya wood. Now let's let's just specifically focus on the wood. Really interesting grain. I'm not super familiar with this wood. It almost has like a burl uh, look to it. Really, I mean, really cool. Uh, and then you got the black hardware and the black blade with the wood handles. I think that looks really cool. Now he does also have uh, is that one stone wash? Yeah, is a stone wash. Now the stone wash ones are sixty-five dollars, and I mean, excuse me, the wood ones are sixty-five dollars. So fifty-five for the G10, sixty-five for these. And if you watch, uh, you know, uh, David is just he keeps his web website up to date. Uh, he, he's got everything going real good. What's cool also is you have steel on the lock side, but to reduce weight, he did. Um, uh, aluminum on this side and again it's a cutter I don't need to go through all that I've done the full review I just since they were coming together as a package this one and that one I figured I would uh, do a quick uh, comparison now we're going long again uh, so it, bear with me I don't know what's wrong with me lately I I'm, I'm sharing way too many details but here is your comparison on the SRM 
9203 and uh, the uh, Cetus. They're about the same length. And then we will slip our uh, Ontario Rat 1, which is a little bit bigger than both. Okay, so there is your comparison there. And then we'll put the Rat 2 up top today. Uh, just because that's where we have a little bit of room. And you can see uh, there it is much smaller than both. So let me know what you guys think of uh, both of these knives. And I appreciate the, the Lefty Pass Around Group for sending Lefty and the Lefty Pass Around Group for sending these my way. I'm going to get them out today to the next person. And uh, really appreciate you guys for checking out. So give me a thumbs up and a comment down below guys i appreciate each and every one of you hope you will do all the things like comment subscribe notification bell and share if you can and again thank you so much for your support and for watching the knives fast channel